Welcome along, everybody, to another On Road podcast uh, video. Today I'm covering the uh, much anticipated Schumacher mass damper. Um, it's an interpretation of the F1 mass damper that was uh, seen in uh, the Renault Formula One cars uh, that did subsequently get banned. Um, but uh, we won't go too much into that. It's part number U8137, and uh, if you've not seen one before, that's why I've done a little video clip for you. Uh, comes with a couple of weight variations. Now, I'll talk you through the actual mass damper itself, and then I'll show you where it fits on the car. I've tried one on my... Uh, Schumacher Icon uh, F1 car on the front and uh, it definitely felt uh, a positive improvement to the car and how it handled uh, better over the bumps so in the in the kit you get uh, four washers and you get uh, two sets of springs you get green and you get red or pink I'm not sure what the color is uh, but it's only one of that type of color a couple of weights you get a countersunk washer there and a couple of uh, countersunk screws and uh, the kit is or the instructions is very clear nice and simple however I did get it wrong first time out but well, not didn't get it wrong, but it, <laughs> it took me time to work it out. So you get four for these uh, shims, washers, call it what you will. Two sit on the top of the weight that you choose, and then two sit on the bottom of the weight that you choose. And then you put a spring either side of those two washers, and the uh, the post sits obviously runs through the middle. You got your uh, self tapped. Um, washer at the top with the bolt and the bolt at the bottom so uh, that's the uh, makeup of the mass damper itself um, I think with lockdown and what's been going on it's obviously been very difficult to uh, to test and try this um, it's not been out that long and uh, I think there's a lot of uh, refinement that you're going to need to do yourself to see how it works for you but they they offer up uh, one two three four five six uh, seven spring variations going from softer to harder obviously you're going to use different oils uh, on the post uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to be at but I've been recommended 500 weight oil on the uh, on the post at the moment and again it will, it will depend on the weight that you want to want to use again depending on the bumpiness of the track all this is to be played around with um, as time goes on so let's talk about the assembly uh, put the first bolt countersunk washer pop that on the top at that point you would then apply your oil down the center of the of the post allowing it to come out of these holes here you might uh, just run away the uh, the surplus and it's up to you to select whether you're going to run the red dot spring or the green dot spring the one that you're supplied with or the two that you're supplied with the red is the softer the green is the harder. Again, I said in the uh, the Schumacher uh, E4 video that I've been recommended that we might need to go a bit a bit stiffer with these springs. So uh, you might want to look to to get in the option springs of black, silver, gold, or white. They actually do a uh, a front uh, tuning spring set U84 U4845. Includes all of these springs. They're the same front springs as the uh, 
as the Schumacher E3 and 4 I believe. Then you apply the, uh, the two shims. Like so. Then you're going to place your weight. This is the 12 gram weight. Then you're going to pop a couple more shims back on. And then making sure that you've got the same spring top and bottom. You've now built your, your mass damper. So this moves up and down the post with the oil with the springs, with the weight, as you go over the bumps. So obviously as, as the, the chassis, it would be sitting on the chassis like so. As the chassis rises up, it's obviously going to be absorbed or worked against with the, with the weight. As the chassis then drops, the weight is then going to obviously try and slow that down. So as the chassis is moving up and down, this weight is trying to slow that motion down and give you uh, more grip and a more settled car. So that's how you construct the mass damper. Obviously, to replace the weight to a 23 gram, if you wanted to run the 23 gram weight. Obviously, with the heavier weight and the same spring, this is now going to move much quicker, but you could slow that down with some different oil, thicker oil. Again, that's the uh, the refinement of trying to find what's going to work best. And I'm pretty sure as time goes on, you know, the, the Schumacher guys, and uh, because this is the only car that it fits on at the moment, the Schumacher, uh, just want to reiterate, I'm not a Schumacher driver. I'm just reviewing this stuff because this is the, the latest stuff out for, uh, for 12 scale, which is my passion. Um, that uh, it's going to uh, only fit on the Schumacher E4 and the Schumacher Icon F1 car. So that's how you build the damper. Now in true Blue Peter style, here's one I fitted earlier, and here's my E4 all race ready, and you can see that's where the that's where the mass damper fits and if I just take the bumper off there you can see it even clearer if I lift it up the front there there it is like so so it has plenty of room to move up and down through the front section of the car now that's quite a lot of weight um, that's 23 grams I've got on there uh, the E3 uh, was quite a heavy car, um, but with the, the, the E4, not that much difference, being brutally honest. What I've done on my car, on the E4, I have uh, removed the E4 rear pod plate. I put the E3 pod plate on. Uh, because it's half a mil thicker and five grams heavier. So I've saved five grams there. And I have put the Moody Falls uh, screw set on the car as well. Race ready, it comes in at 719 grams. So uh, it's underweight, which is great. I've then put the 23 gram mass damper set on the front of the car. And that then brings it up to... 7.45 as a total so it weighs 26 grams thereabouts 25 grams the uh, the the mass damper um, at 7.45 it's you know 15 grams overweight but that's certainly not something that I see as too much of an issue that's with a Montec M20 lightweight shell on it as well uh, an IP lipo Tekin Pro uh, uh, RS ESC, the X Factor motor. I think the X Factor motor is slightly heavier as well, but race ready, 745, not too bad at all. Um, and that's about it. So that covers the mass damper. Uh, hopefully, you've uh, enjoyed the video. If you have, share it with your friends, hit the like button, 
subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and uh, I look forward to seeing you all again trackside soon.